Hey guys, for Star here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this issue where you get this verification fail, an unknown error occurred on your iPhone. Now, this error message that pops up could be for any reason, but it's an error message that's common. It doesn't give you much to go off with it because it's unknown error, so what can you do? Luckily, in this video, we're going to try to go through the troubleshooting steps that Apple recommends, and hopefully at the end of the video, you'll be able to resolve this issue and start using your iPhone. So let's dive into it. So usually this happens because it's generally something going on with your Apple ID or the iPhone setting. So what you want to do is when you see that air message, first thing first is go ahead and turn on and off your airplane mode. So to do that, you're going to go into settings here and then you can see airplane mode. You're going to go ahead and turn that on for a few seconds and turn it back off. What it does is just does a quick network refresh. So anything Connectivity related usually resolves that when you turn on off the airplane mode. Now, once you have done that, the next thing we want to verify is in the settings again, but this time we'll go to general and then we'll scroll down and look at date and time. I'm going to click on date and time. And as you can see here, what we want to verify is that that time that you see right there is the same local time that you're in. Usually, generally it should be the same because it's automatically picked up by the network, but in a case that you're traveling or you moved or changed something, that might not be the case, so you're gonna verify that is the same. Now, if it doesn't automatically pick up, you can always turn off automatic and then set it manually. Make sure your time zone region where you select is selected so you want to go search up whatever time zone you're in closest to and make sure that is selected also the date is correct and the time is correct if you're setting it manually and then also after you set up manually and that should fix it if not try to do automatically again when you do that automatically you want to make sure that spinning goes away generally it takes a moment or two before that goes away now the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue is go ahead and do a software update of your phone. To do that, again, you're going to be in settings, and then we're going to general. This time, we'll look for software update. And here, we're going to look to see if there's an update available. As you can see, iOS 16.2 is the latest version at the time of recording because we updated the phone. But if there's an update available, it'll say here. What you'll do is download and install. It will give you an option here. And go ahead and download and install again. This will take somewhere between uh, 10 minutes to half an hour, even up to one hour, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, how big the update is. Let the phone update because generally if there's any software related issue, it will fix that and hopefully resolve that issue. Now, once you have updated the phone, it's time to give it a phone a good, nice, clean reboot by doing a forced restart. To do a forced restart on your iPhone 8 and above, you'll press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down really quick. And then this time on the other side with a big side button you're going to press and hold till the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear and then you'll let go of that button so in real time volume up volume down and pressing and releasing and then you're going to hold that big side button if for some reason when you do this Siri activates that means you didn't press and release the volume up and down really quick enough just retry one more time and then once you see that and you'll wait for the Apple logo to appear and then let go just like that. And again, this will do a clean slate restart, reloading the code, fixing any software related minor issues that the phone is impacted by and generally resolves most of the issues that you see on iPhones. And now check if that error message goes away. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is Make sure you want to check uh, to see Apple services are actually running the way they should be. So for this one, open up a browser and search for Apple system status page. And when you Google this, it'll take you to the first hit where you see here system status. Generally what happens is Apple has all of these services available for you to use whenever you're using Apple product and most of the time these are available but let's say if you're having issues with your apple id or app store you want to make sure these are available in a rare case you see the word unavailable all you have to do is wait till it's available generally it takes somewhere between a few minutes to a few hours days sometimes depending on how severe the problem is on the apple side on their server side of things so you can't really do anything just wait for apple to restore their service and make it available and generally apple does a really good job when it comes to these services for the most part they'll have all of these service available for you now let's say you did this and it's available and still having the issue the next thing you can do is doing a password 
reset of your Apple ID because if there's something going on with your Apple ID, if it's locked or disabled by Apple, generally a password reset can enable that or unlock it for you. To do that, you can go to Apple's website by going into appleid.apple.com, so www. When you go there on your browser, on a computer, or on a phone, it'll take you to this page where it'll ask you to sign in. Once you try to sign in, you can continue with the password and then you'll see the option to forget password. You'll click on that. Once you click on that, it will prompt you for some verification information and then allow you to reset your password, which again could resolve the issue with your verification failing. You can also go into your settings and then click on your name here above with your Apple ID and then go to password and security and then here you'll also be able to go ahead and change it through this if you can't change it through the browser. So once you have done that and, uh, and it still isn't working or you can't sign in or can't change password, there's really not much you can do on your side of things now. You have to contact Apple to take a look at your account on their server to make sure that it's not locked or disabled due to some kind of payment, security, or some other issue going on. To do that, you can go ahead, Google search Apple uh, support, help. When you click on that, it'll give you the option to call or chat with the live agent, or you can click on their official Apple contact page. It'll tell you what issue you have. You can go through for the help you need, so most likely Apple ID. You can contact them by the phone, through your uh, app as well, or simply visit an Apple store, authorized Apple store that will can take a look at your account and make sure everything is fine and resolve the issue for you. So hopefully one of these tips help you guys resolve your issue with your Apple ID verification fail. And if it did, please let us know which one helped. And if you're still having issues, leave a comment in the comment section with what the issue is. And if you found a better way to fix it, leave it in the comment section as well. And when we're at it, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.